Yo, what up? Real quick, just want to say that dropping a like and a comment does help me finesse the algorithm, pushes the video out to more people. So if you don't mind, appreciate it. If you're trying to get better or you're interested on getting better in Tarkov, I highly recommend to check out my coaching course. There's three different tiers of coaching, so there will be one that suits you best. It's all one on one type sessions, and I might make it into a series. The reason I'm saying this is because prices will have to slowly increase. So if you want to get in, get in now. But, anyways, enough talking. Enjoy the video. Yo. Yo. Yo, what up? How's it going? Ah, uh, pretty good. Been trying to kill uh, Gluha, so that's been interesting. Your first time? Uh, like first wipe or first time killing him? Yeah, playing against his AI. Um, so this is my, th uh, this, I'd say. Second and a half wipe. I started my first wipe halfway through. No, you're chilling. Uh, so, yeah. This is. I also started this one kind of halfway through. I played this one for the, like a week at the start and then stopped and then came back to it later. <laughs> Would you say you're on and off consistently or you spend a lot of time playing? I've, I've spent quite a bit of time playing now. Um, I think I've got. How many hours do I have? Almost 1500? Yeah, we can check the stats. Survivor rate 47. Decent. KD is okay. That is yeah. not bad. I've been playing a lot of like CS um, before this. And yeah, yeah. then, like, could the hackers on CS just got to me? I was like, nah. <laughs> I feel it. You ever try Valorant? I haven't, but I've, I've a lot of my friends play it, but also, yeah, I've heard a lot of... Actually, there's not as many hackers on there, apparently. Yeah, the anti-cheat is, is very invasive, so it's hard for people to cheat, but that's like a whole different topic. You said you're a week into this wipe? Oh, um, I was when I first started, um, and then I stopped, and then I came back. So now I've been playing, I'd say, for the last two, three months again, and I'm starting to, like finally ease into uh pvp in this game again yeah the best way to get better is just experience put yourself in those hard situations yeah, once you're... Three always makes me nervous <laughs> yeah that's what i'm saying but once you get used to being in that situation you'll be like okay subconsciously you'll know what to do because you've already been in that environment it's the same as real life yeah i just killed the cultist with my my partner so that was fun <laughs> Yo, I've actually never ran into Cultist this wipe. What? I know, I know, I, it's insane. This this wipe was the first time I ever ran into them. <laughs> That's good I've for you. I've never run into uh, them before this. I, I think I'll be screaming as well once the first time I see them. Scav on. Oh, that's a scav. <laughs> Is it? That was a scav, yeah. I was about to say, if that was a player, that's kind of sad. Oh! Jesus! Nice. Good kill. Alright, I'm chilling on the bullets. Oh, <laughs> he was a level <laughs> one! I feel so bad! Oh, okay. Scav. My aim needs improving. <laughs> yeah, remember to flick on your lasers. If you hip fire, flick on your lasers. Get used oh, to targeting yeah. your lasers on and off for that 10% accuracy buff. Oh. Oh, there's two! <laughs> Holy shit! Good try. God, I was not expecting two to be there. Yeah, good try. Uh, you kind of tunnel visioned on the on the first guy you saw, because you it was a good call. Yeah. Uh, he was gonna reload since he did kind of spam the shotgun. It's an okay push, but you tunnel vision, so you didn't consider them to be two. Yeah. So just remember that. Okay, that could be another one. If there was another one, what am I gonna do? It was some good shots, I think. Uh, you, I'm pretty sure all the bullets went into the railing, though, which was unlucky. 
you know what's better on the rpk unless you're trying to run it quiet the compensator is actually better it has less recoil you know that might actually be interesting factory <laughs> that might actually be interesting i might try that out do you use the valde all the time or is it just for the rpk uh, i kind of just use it um if it's got if like the weapons are uh, like you could use the medium distance but also at close range i kind of use that one yeah there's uh, since you use this scope this scope has a lot of vignette on it do you know what i mean uh no <laughs> okay so if you go into a hideout i'm pretty sure they're the two scopes that have the most vignette around the scope by vignette i mean like the black ring around the scope so you see that black ring oh. around the scope if you lean yeah you can see it oh okay yeah so if you have a suppressor on your gun it's going to be a lot slower and it's going to take longer for your character to look down the scope so if you want to swap out your suppressor for the compensator oh yeah i've got that already now yeah just try on with the suppressor see the difference even with adsing it's huge oh, okay oh yeah a bit slow yeah yeah so i'll be careful on the ergo you have on the gun if you're using that scope you want the ergo to be high i'd say around maybe 30 40 at least now, if you try it with the yeah. voodoo if you put the voodoo on there's no there's barely any vignette around it voodoo yeah i've seen the voodoo right. on the top of your stash that's why a lot of people prefer the scope oh. and then just lean with the scope you'll see the difference oh that's actually a lot better that's a lot better that's why people pay to have the scope all right so yeah i'd say since you have money you can kind of you, you don't need to be using shitty scopes you can spend a little bit more to make it easier on yourself you know make your gameplay a lot nicer tool. yeah, yeah. <laughs> especially because you got the money. money yeah 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 Uh oh. You're good. Someone's here. Oh, there's two. Oh, fuck, they know I'm here. Remember to switch your laser on. I think one's already across. Do you have a Probotol or Morphine? I'd use it. Ah, uh, yeah, I do. Okay. There's one to the left and the right. Yeah. Why can't I open this door? <laughs> you gotta look at the handle on the doors. I think I may have just seen one. Okay. If you get hit, always look at your health. Since it's on the top left, always check it. If you do get hit. I'd heal it up fully before you peek, man. Do I throw a nade? Yeah, yeah. Oh, please be a good nade. So since oh, he's okay, using that, was... that SVD, semi okay. He's using that SVD, right? So it's semi-auto. 
you would want to play kind of aggressive. Try and get close range fights. So try and push him? There's, it's two, I don't know I what know the other I know it's two, but hold your grounds. Try to isolate 1v1s if possible. If you can't, back up. That door on your left, is that openable? Uh, that one right no. there. No. Okay. I think you need a key for that one. Yeah. How would I push this? Uh, I would. I would just hold your ground. They're playing patient. Right now, they want you to push. I would try bait, like checking mags and reloading, faking out grenades and stuff like this. See if I can bait any movement from them. Do you know how to fake a grenade? Uh, how do you do that? Like, do you just oh, like? So, so if you pull the pull grenade out? out, you can cancel it by right-clicking on your mouse. Yeah, yeah. I'll bait an eight again, see if they push. Alright, they didn't push, so I would, I would actually use the grenade this time, throw it down the hallway, see if they're still there. Yeah, they're there. Yeah. So you know they're playing passive, and one has a SVD. Do you know exactly which room he's in? Uh, he's into the left right there. Is it closed or is it Without open? Without doors. It's open. Alright. So, what you could do is throw a nade all the way down the hallway and push in close left. It would have to be a good grenade though. What? Good try. Now he put a, he put out a pistol with his SVD. Oh my god. Good try though. That was, that was the right play. I like that. Good grenade. That was unlucky as hell. Yeah. So oh good. Oh. Stuff like this happens. Tarkov. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it, it's just Tarkov. it was a good play. The reason I'd say is to pull out and bait a nade first is to see if they push off of it because you don't want to actually throw a pull out a grenade and then throw it and then they push you so i'd always fake it first to see if they push yeah so right here took me a while to find it over here so you got hit right mm -hmm. svd you can see your health your thorax is one hp i would not repeat this since he tagged you in the same spot just back off heal your thorax you always want to prioritize your head and your chest and since it's already in your top left, like a quick glance, that's what you see all the time. People with face cams, you see them looking up top left because they're always checking the health. Every single like second they're fighting, every minute they're fighting, they always check it. So see the way he pre-fired it? Yeah. If you was there, if I'm not sure if he landed a good shot, but it was close enough, right? Yeah. Let's say he landed and you were still peeking, you would have died right there. That's why I told you to move. I told you to move. You get so you're healing it, which is fine. You're using an IFAC, right? Yeah. So with the IFAC, it doesn't heal it all the way. Now, since it, so since it's not healed all the way, right? This puts enough HP on your chest for him to one tap you now. Oh. Because you didn't heal it all the way. So you see the way he redded it out? Yeah. On the first shot? That's because you had full HP. So the HP that you needed to survive you didn't put it back on. So the next time you would have peeked it without healing fully, he would have just one tapped you like he was about to do. Oh, shit. So always prioritize. Always prioritize head and chest. If he uh, got two shots, I would have died. Yeah. I mean, it would have been one shot in this current health condition. Yeah. Because you're missing, obviously, the 10 HP or 20 HP, whatever. Yeah. And, and that's the got, difference yeah. from being oh. one tapped. And two tapped. So always prioritize head and chest. Push. Okay. In case awesome. you do forget something that I've talked about. Good grenade. 
push is good. You just didn't anticipate him being close. You kind of anticipated him being down here. Yeah, I did. But since you know this now, because you've dived, you're going to be more cautious about this angle. Yeah. Yo, if you're interested on getting coached in Tarkov, I am doing one-on-one -on -one coaching now. So if you're interested on why I play the way I do, you can head down to the description and sign up for coaching. Or if you want more information, click the link below that. Good luck with your raids. And also, I'm live on Twitch, like, right now.